Hey guys and welcome back to another edition. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to another edition of Affordable Vape. Today we're going to be taking a look at what you're going to need to build at home. Go over all the tools you need, where to find them. Let's dive on down, check everything out. We'll come back up, talk about them a little bit more. And I'll have a list in the description of where you can buy them, how much they cost, and uh, where to get them at. So the first thing on our list of things you're going to need to build and uh, supplies in your toolbox is wire. This is from UD. This is a wire box. Uh, comes with a couple different types of wire here. You have Canthal, Nichrome, NI200, which is nickel, SS316 stainless steel. You have Canthal that's twisted, and this is Clapton wire that's Canthal. It's going to come in a box just like this. All right. Pretty nifty little box here. We'll open her up, take a look inside. It's gonna come with uh, six of these spools. I used all the candles, so that's gone. But yeah, it comes with these little nifty spools. It tells you exactly what it is. Okay. Really cool for doing different styles of uh, wraps, you know, experimenting with different kinds of things and, and builds and stuff like that. Next thing you're gonna need is some cotton. I like this cotton bacon. It is organic cotton. Very nice. Comes uh, comes in this little bag here. All right. Comes in uh, almost like strips. Okay. So it's gonna look like this. All right. You can pull as much as you need off. And uh, yeah. All right. Also, you have this style of cotton. Cotton pad. Uh, this is the one I use a lot that has that uh, almost like outer layer that I peel off. Um, this is really good for making really detailed strips for uh, smaller builds and stuff like that. Love using this stuff, you can get it relatively cheap. Next thing you're going to need, a good pair of scissors. You're going to want something that can get up in there and, you know, get a nice little cut. Um, yeah, really nice. You can get these like CVS, Walmart, wherever, you know, it's usually in like the beauty section. Okay. Next thing you're going to need is some tweezers. These are ceramic twi tip tweezers. These are really good for uh, firing your coil and pinching at the same time. If you try to fire a coil and pinch with these guys, you're going to short the coil out. Uh, it's going to fry it and you're going to have to start over from scratch. I like to have these around though for when I'm pulling out old coils or when I'm just uh, getting rid of cotton and put some new cotton in. These are good to have too. Um, but yeah. Make sure you have some of these guys. It's gonna make your uh, your building a lot easier on you. Really nice. Got these for I think five or six bucks on the internet. But yeah, very nice. A lot of vape shops carry these kind of things too. Next, you are going to need some snippers. I like these snippers right here. They are spring loaded. Okay, they have a real uh, fine point to them, so you can get in there and get a real close cut on your atomizer posts. Um, you can also use nail clippers. I see people use a lot of people just like spin the coil till it breaks. Uh, I prefer this. You know, you get right up close to it, snip it off. Works best to me. Okay. The next thing you're gonna need is a little set of screwdrivers. I got these at Lowe's uh, Project Source. Comes with everything from a three millimeter all the way down to a uh, a 1.4 millimeter. This is the one I use to uh, put cotton in most of the time and fluff cotton. I like how, uh, how fine it is, you know, after I get the cotton in, I kind of jab it with this and, and fluff it out. Um, also for uh, RTAs, it's really good to guide the cotton down inside of the tank. Okay, really like that. Next thing on the list that you're going to need is one of these bad boys. Got this guy from Harbor Freight. Uh, really nice. Has a whole little slew of uh, micro hex. Okay, right here, this is the... Uh, the 1.5, um, the avocado, and the mini velocity uses this one right here, which is a 1.3. These are kind of hard to get your hands on um, unless you're going to use the uh, the one that comes with it. But this is very small, hard to find. I was able to find this whole set of Harbor Freight 
Uh, I love that it came with all the different bits, uh, relatively cheap, um, very nice little tool, allows you to get in there. Uh, it also has a spinning mechanism right there so you can palm it and spin it in your hand. Very nice, I like that a lot. Moving on, this is also an optional thing, but coilers. I love these things, uh, very nice little tool. Uh, you stick your wire into one end, you put it, you put this little driver piece back on, and it coils your wire for you. Very nice, makes very clean, tight coils. Um, I use these things for all my builds. I usually use this one. I, I like the point two uh, or the two millimeter um, option right here. It comes with a two millimeter, and it comes with a two and a half millimeter, and it comes with a three millimeter. All right, these things are really cool. It makes the building very convenient. Atomizer mount. Take it off just like that. You got your deck section right there. Easy to build on. Get, get all your uh, get all your coils set up. Build them all on there. This thing was relatively cheap. It has a little stand to hold your uh, top cap for you too right there. Really convenient. Uh, I like this thing a lot. Right, next thing you're gonna need is an ohm reader. Now this guy's from Geek Vapes. This thing does two different functions. It reads ohms and it fires coil. Okay, so I'll show you how this thing works real quick. I put them onto here. And this thing will tell you exactly where you're at. This is a 0.35. Okay, and you can take it up to your fire feature and you can fire your coils. Very nice. I like this thing a lot. And you can also go with a cheaper version right here as well. This is just an ohm reader. Um, all this thing does is just read ohms. Okay, doesn't do anything else uh, special. But these are uh, these are good to have. We're going to be using on regulated devices that don't have uh, a screen on it telling you the resistance of the build you just made. Um, these things are great to have around, you know, so you can uh, follow Ohm's law and uh, be safe when you're vaping. Okay. And uh, that's about it. That's all you're gonna need to do your builds at home. Uh, obviously a little toolbox to keep everything in. All right guys, and we're back on top. Thank you so much for joining us today to go over the tools and products you're gonna need to build at home. Uh, like I said, we'll have links in the description of everything uh, that was mentioned today and where to buy them on the internet uh, for relatively cheap. Also, one more thing, get yourself a little toolbox, keep yourself organized. All right, you pick this up at Home Depot, 10 bucks, something like that. I'll try to find that on the website and uh, put a link in the description. So without any further ado, thank you so much for joining in to Affordable Vape TV. Uh, please go to Kazaa, sign the petition to keep our hobby alive. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. All right, thank you guys so much. Have a great day.